Capitol Hill is on alert. Days after the attack on the, on the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and just days before Election Day, KPIX 5's Ann Makovic joins me with the security preparations for voters and our elected officials. Ann? Yeah, it is a scary time to be in politics, and threats against members of Congress have only increased this year. Capitol Police say they are monitoring right now thousands of cases nationwide as we take a live look at the U.S. Capitol. They're also coordinating with local and state agencies. Helicopters flew low over the U.S. Capitol for a security exercise just six days ahead of midterm elections. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger is calling for more security resources to protect lawmakers, citing today's political climate. Demonizing rhetoric, um, false claims of election fraud paired with um, calls for action against other parties, individuals, um, are what can combine to, to cause real harm. So Shannon Hiller tracks political violence as the head of the Bridging Divides initiative at Princeton University. She says despite concerning rhetoric, people should feel safe going to vote. It's a period of heightened tension, but there's so many groups, whether it's uh, poll workers, administrators, community groups, who have been able to prepare a long time for this day. A federal intelligence bulletin warned that domestic violent extremists across the ideological spectrum pose a heightened threat to the midterms and beyond Election Day, though there are no specific threats currently. CBS News has confirmed cameras captured the break-in at House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's San Francisco home. Video accessible to Capitol officers monitoring high-interest locations. Suspect David DePap, accused of assaulting the Speaker's husband, Paul Pelosi, has pleaded not guilty to charges, including attempted murder. Someone who was willing to enact violence uh, that was politically motivated. Prosecutors say he had a list of politicians he was targeting. Now, DePap is being held right now without bail. If he does ever get out, he's also barred from contacting the Pelosi's or coming within 150 yards of their home. He is due back in court on Friday. That is when the judge is expected to set a date for his preliminary hearing. Reed. All right, thank you. The attack on Paul Pelosi has some local officials increasing their own security. San Francisco Mayor London Breed says she has already made some changes. I've had um, a number of uh, death threats. I've had, um, you know, someone show up with protesters with a pitchfork in front of my home and, you know, others who have been very aggressive. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely concerned. Well, we will continue to follow all the latest developments in the attack on Paul Pelosi here on KPIX 5, streaming on CBS News Bay Area and online at KPIX.com.